Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your CPUs because we got some sizzling hot news right off the press. As you might know by now, Intel Raptors Lake CPUs are actually having a bit of an identity crisis. Turns out these chips are not just unstable, they're an actual roller coaster ride of crashes and blue screens left and right. Initially, we thought that this instability was confined to the high-end models, but surprise, surprise, it's affecting everything from the mighty Core i9-4900K right down to the humble Core i3-14100F. And guess what? It even affects the 65 watts laptop models, so those aren't safe either. The crashing issue could impact any Raptor Lake or Raptor Lake refresh chip drawing 65 watts or more. Furthermore, this bug also affects the mainstream non-K models and their variants of KKF and KS counterparts, or so Intel at least told The Verge. This doesn't mean, however, that every Raptor Lake or Raptor Lake refresh CPU will experience crashing issues. However, any customer who is having instability issues on their desktop CPUs should immediately contact Intel's customer support. The microcode update, that might help, but if your CPU is already throwing up tantrums, then you might need to contact customer support and no, they're not recalling anything, but they will still offer RMAs in case your CPU is already affected. Guys, to make it simple, this is a manufacturing hardware level problem and this can't and won't be affected by any amount of microcoding that, you know, Intel can come up with. The only thing that they are trying to provide with the microcode is, well, basically to prevent the full level meltdown of their entire series, so in plain English, they don't want a full-scale entire lineup recall because that's really expensive and it could be a, you know, PR damaging nightmare that I think it's already in the making. You know, they would much rather sacrifice your performance long-term for your hard-earned and bought CPU than to have to recall it. I know it sounds rough and I know it seems like an aftermath of the present where, you know, we get to pay more and get less and less by the day with mostly everything, so it seems like until this time around skimmed too much off the top of the quality so they're left handling this dumpster fire. So what's a user to do? Well, updating your BIOS is your best bet to keep the gremlins at bay. And if all else fails, well, then maybe consider returning your Intel-based laptop or your CPU if that's on the table and maybe get on the AMD's Ryzen 9000 series bandwagon. At least they don't come with a built-in drama feature. Or do they? Guys, don't forget to check out my channel as I do reviews and fix stuff here as well beside covering the news. You could be so kind as to drop a comment, leave a like, and maybe even consider subscribing. Alright, let's move on. Moving on, fate ain't kind, but at least, well, with this launch where AMD has the upper hand, it seems that all they have to do is not screw up and they're golden. Well, get around guys, because I got a tale for you. So the AMD Ryzen 9000 series has actually been delayed, and you won't actually believe why. Was it a major technical flaw like Intel? Well, no. Maybe a supply chain issue then? Well, you could try again. The real reason? A typo. Yes, you heard that right. Someone at AMD actually labeled a batch of Ryzen 7 9700X processors as a Ryzen 9 9700X. I guess someone is actually typing with their eyes closed that day. Imagine this scene at AMD HQ when they actually found out. Hey Bob, did you send out those new chips? Yeah, sure I did, boss. All labeled and shipped. Great! Oh wait, what did you say? Labeled? Oh no! AMD's official line was that the initial production units didn't meet their quality expectations, which we all know by now is just a fancy talk for we goofed up. Yeah, it seems that there's a lot of goofing up lately in the CPU world. To avoid the unnecessary drama and the tech bloggers having a field day, well, AMD decided to delay the launch. I would guess that is the grown-up way of handling things. Can you imagine the headlines? AMD new Ryzen 9 now with 100% more typo. Yeah, they definitely wanted to avoid that, so they did what I think is the best call right now to actually pull the release just postpone it a few weeks more, and all should be just great afterwards. And it gets even better. This wasn't just a one-off mistake. Apparently the Ryzen 5 9600X got a makeover too. And it was labeled, or I should say mislabeled, as a Ryzen 9. I mean, at this rate, why not just call everything Ryzen 9 and be done with, right? AMD is now working overtime to replace all those mislabeled units. So if you're wondering why your shiny new Ryzen 9000 is delayed, now you know. It's all because of a label mix-up that could have been easily avoided by proofreading. So that means just actually reading what you're printing. 
quite easy, right? Meanwhile, over at Intel, they're probably having a good laugh about this while dealing with their own CPU instabilities drama. What's happening in the tech space right now is like watching two clowns juggle chainsaws, entertaining, but you know, you're just waiting to see a disaster. So what's the simple lesson to be drawn here? Well, always double check your work, folks. One typo and you could delay a major production launch and give the tech bloggers a story they'll talk about for years. In the meantime, keep your eyes peeled for those corrected CPU hitting the shelves as let's hope they come with the right labels this time around. So what are these new dates that you might be wondering about? Well, as it sits right now, it seems that we're not talking about the long delay as starting with August 8, we should see the Ryzen 7 9700X and the Ryzen 5 9600X available for purchase. Following this, August 15 is the next date on the calendar that we should start to get access to the Ryzen 9 9950X and the Ryzen 9 9900X. But with this mishap aside, for a moment we can see how the correctly labeled AMD Ryzen 9950X just smashed the Cinebench R23 world record by hitting a scorching 6.5 GHz. That's right folks, AMD and their new Zen 5 flagship is cooking up more heat than the summer's barbecue. Billy Billy's tech wizard, ordinary Uncle Tony, used liquid nitrogen to push this beast to 55 points and beyond in Cinebench R23. For context, the previous record was just over 50,000 points set by SafeDisk with the Ryzen 9 7950X. So it looks like Tony's Ryzen 9 is actually the new heavyweight champ by far. Imagine the scene. Tony's system clocked at 5 GHz, hitting 42, 689 points. Then he cranked it up to 6 GHz, smashing past the old record with 51,204 points. But Tony wasn't done just yet, he pushed it to 6.5 GHz and then BAM! 55,327 points. And that is at 165 degrees Celsius. Even with liquid cooled nitrogen, this thing was hotter than the desert sun. Yes, the Ryzen 9 9950X normally runs at 4.3 base and then can boost up to 5.7. But definitely Tony took it to new heights showing you that this CPU can handle anything you throw at it and then even more. With AMD's Ryzen 9000 series looking this promising, Intel might just want to double check their game plan. If of course they can put the brakes on their runaway train that is. But regardless, if you would be so kind as to subscribe, comment and share to these videos, then I will be definitely thanking you from the bottom of my heart. Stay awesome, be kind and see you guys.